Hello everyone, we're going to be looking at openai.com and I'm going to test out an API which converts all English into correct English. <laughs> so what you can see on the screen is some um, kind of gangster rap lyrics, shall we say? Hey yo, can't say that word because I'll get delisted. We got mohawk stuff. Yeah, so it's kind of, if you know Dr. Dre, you might recognize that. Anyway, let's convert that into what the AI thinks it should say. So, hey, yo, we got Mohawk. Dr. Pi woke up in that AM, composed a beat. Hey, yo, that G. Dr. Pi still got love for the street. And um, here we go. Here's the nicely corrected, sanitized version. Hey, y'all. Got more hot stuff. Dr. Pi woke up in the AM, composed a beat. Hey, yo, that doc, that G, Dr. Pi, still got love for the street. So, um, yeah, if you ever need any gangster rap lyrics correcting, <laughs> yeah, obviously, there's, this is pretty clever. As, um, under the bonnet, it'll be tokenizing the words. It'll be no NLTK. It's probably doing um, uh, word tokenize, and then it would of the words it's running those against a dictionary and then checking for synonyms in the case of something like star t it'll be changing that to stuff but obviously it knows the context because how would it know that star t actually means stuff it could mean there's numerous meanings for that word so it's clever how it works it out and obviously uh it's using up tokens and what it's doing is it's it's checking and it can keep it's iterative so it keeps checking 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 until it finds something that makes sense um if you've used spacey you might have used um ner named entity recognition as well so um yes yeah, spacey and ltk those once you learn those and they're free then something like this which is it's paid for it says open ai but it's still a paid for service you get a eighteen dollars eighteen dollars of credit for the first three months when you register um, so this is the English to slang English to good English correction part of it click it pricing show you pricing I'm not selling this I'm not affiliate or anything so take it as it is thousand token I think that's cost per token. Yeah, prices are per thousand. Oh, prices are per thousand tokens. Yeah, so I think it is probably quite cheap. Thousand tokens is about 750 words, and a thousand tokens is not point not not. So if you did a thousand thousand, say you did a million, that would be what, 40p? I'm not here to do maths. <laughs> One other thing I want to show is why did I start looking at this? I was started off looking at generative 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 art. If you've seen my NFT videos, I've dabbled with that before. Created three thousand unique NFTs using Photoshop and Python, basically. Here we go. This was the other thing I wanted to just bring to your attention. Sometimes I do tutorials on this channel. Other times I just <laughs> copy other people's code. Well, look at other people's code, try it out, see what happens. Today, really, we're just looking at code. I will do a demo in a minute. So stay tuned because the first thing we're looking at was the slang English to correct English. This is part two where we look at Python to natural language. And then to round up, we will just look at a pet naming program. So don't go away. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, and all that other stuff. Okay, so this is a Python program, which that looks like pandas to me. Move common prefix. explanation of what the code does. So 
keeps a single white space. Don't care about the white space. What it's actually doing is it's it's changing completion to where is completion will be a column in a data frame. So let's just scroll down. Okay. So if you pass in this code, your code, then this program will translate your code into plain English to what it actually does. The code above is a function that takes a data frame. So yeah, you, you know it's a data frame because of the square brackets. And the prefix, so yeah, x is the data frame, prefix as input and returns a data frame with prefix removed from the completion column. Yeah, so on the right is the data frame with action that are happening to it. And on the left is the result, resultant column. You're only modifying that column. So the original data frame will be the original data frame with only column that be, that's modified. Column called completion. So that's quite interesting. And here you can see the actual code. So this is the Python code that analyzes the Python code and gives you the English. Um, I'd be interested if this does it in other languages as well. We'll just have a quick look at this. So yeah, you need your API key. So well, that's the usual stuff. Import AI, that's what is actually the API that's doing all the clever stuff. The response equals openai.completion.create. And you're passing in code dash DaVinci dot dash dash double O two. Uh as we saw earlier, DaVinci is oh, the most powerful. So again, most of what this OpenAI does seems to be working with text and doing clever stuff with text. Uh so it provides access to GPT three, which I think is Google if I don't know. I, I, about GPT-3. Uh, anyway, let's go back to the example prompt. Temperature, so temperature you have between naught and one. If you do naught, it will, you'll get the same results each time and they'll be very close to training examples. So that's a bit like if you know um, overfitting. So that would overfit. Change it to up towards one, it will underfit and you'll get more diverse results, but they could be a little bit less relevant. Max tokens, so that's, tokens are obviously, that's your tokens that you pay for when you buy some credit. I don't know what top is or frequency, frequency penalty, presence penalty. I guess if something keeps occurring, then it, whatever that means. So anyway, that's, that's that. Open in playground. If you open it in playground, then get a screen where I believe you could probably put in your own code. Codex models are currently in private beta. Usage is free during this period. Oh. So load a preset. Let's load a preset and pass unstructured data. Let's try that. So a table summarizing the fruits from Gucrux, whatever that is. There are many fruits that were found on the recently discovered planet Gucrux. These are, okay, so this is just some gibberish. Let's pass this. Then if this works, we'll try and modify it. So it looks like it's picking out. Color. Fruit color flavor. Okay, yeah, so we got the first word is the fruit, second word is color, third word is the flavor. Oh, so yeah, again, it's doing NER, named entity recognition. So it's looking for the nouns and the adjectives see with the, the red underscore um i wonder i want to run that again let's just try some of our own like oh, some of our own text let's i'll put in fruit color flavor first and after that we'll try some of our own classification so uh um red apples uh, bitter. 
So I'm doing this deliberately the wrong way around. So we'll see if it organizes it for us. The black grapes sweeter than the oranges. Juicy. So I'm trying to half. I'm um, give it some sensible information, but I'm trying to also slightly confuse it because I've said the oranges were not juicy. Uh, so orange is also is the fruit and the color and the flavor may be juicy. So let's see if indeed it works at all. Yeah, apples, red bitter, grapes, black sweet, oranges, orange, juicy, not juicy. <laughs> so yeah, that. I would guess you could do that with Spacey. I did that with Spacey and NER on a project back almost a year ago with Last API. If I can find it, I'll put the link here. But again, you see the power of this. It, I mean, if you had a large, a large corpus of text, you could really analyze it, and then you can count the word frequency, do sentiment analysis on it. The other thing you can do is you can create art. So you can pass in some text to, which is what I started off looking at. Pass text, a block of text to this, and it should somewhere, I can't, I'm probably not going to find it now. I've built it up so much. You pass the text, with that text, it will classify the items, classify the or NER named entity recognition. And from that, it should create some art. Nude color. Um, so much on this screen to read. <laughs> I thought I was going to find a uh, text to command. Natural language to Stripe API. Stripe's one of the things on my list to do a video about and look at. Product name generator. TLDR. You could run, um, I wonder if there's like a TLDR for videos. It, it probably is because what you could do is you could do speech to text and then from the text you could convert that text into tldr i dare you somebody run speech to text on this video get the transcript from everything i've just said and then run the tldr on it and then put it in the comments the first person to do that will get it'll be a surprise python bug fixer Explain a complicated piece of code. So let's go back to the explain the code. Wow, that's that's this is looking more interesting. So class log gets the path. Check that the new thing is you've got comments there, so you've already got some English comments. Um, I'm going to remove that. Open let's open that in the playground and get rid of the comments. Imagine somebody wrote some code and added no comments, which is quite possible. So, got a class, directory name is the current path. It's make, OS make there's their name. So we're gonna pass in a directory name when we call that class, or instantiate it. Gonna oh, seek f dot file dot seek. Go to the start. Read, write. Some dumping to JSON. Load JSON back again. So you've got create create the instantiate the object. Logging. State. Submit. I hope it works. I just removed that comment, didn't I? 
still working? Maybe it's uh, not liking it because I took out that comment. Let's try again. Back. Refresh here and run it without. I'll leave the comment in. And Should I be waiting? What's that? Oh, we got. Paint. Does this analyze other code, other languages? still running it's changed it's, it's gone color oh that's because i've told it it's python but let's run it let's run some again and nothing seems to be happening i don't know what's going on here <sighs> let's do another example um python bug fix python natural languages Playground. We've done this one. Let's make our own. Um, what's it? I'm not going to even use any typing, so let's see if we can still uh, return. Let's keep it really simple. If I, <laughs> I can't type, what's going on? It must be the sunglasses. X times Y. Run, submit, whatever. Um, where is the... Is it, do I need to scroll down? Is it because I've zoomed in too far? Python. Uh, no history. Um, I don't know what what's going on. We'll forget about that. So, the last thing I wanted to show was. This, which was the sample code on the OpenAI site. Let's just, uh, I'll make this right color. And what it does is it takes a user input or a pet name and then it's using Flask, get your API key, which is in .env file. Um, set a root, which goes to just the, to the root. Press dot method post animal, and um, that's just a doc string. So animal dot capitalize. So that's capitalizing name of the animal, and quest dot. Generate animal, generate prompts. Run it. I fail be. Game. No module eight, no module named open AI. Ask run. There we go. I had to add this to the example. I'd never without that. 
name my pet. So, um, Tiddles. Great names. Amazing Tiddles, Tiddles the Unstoppable, Tiddles the Great. That wasn't very interesting. Let's do um, Broggy. Generate names. The Green Avenger, Captain Croker, the Mighty Frog. Um, let's put in... Uh, um, I wonder what happens if you put in Dr. Pi. Dr. Strange Pup. Master of the Mystic Mutts, the incredible Dr. Pi. Let's put in um, Code Monkey King. Sticking with the animal theme. King Code a lot. The amazing code. Mm. I wonder if I try it again. Does it? I think let's... Um, temperature, we need to code warrior the algorithm. So was the... Code temperature, yeah, not point six. So we go up to one. Reloading because I set I set reload to be true. I think I did. No, still reloaded anyway. Um, Doctor Pi. Thing one, thing two, thing three. I think that's because I set the temperature to high. Simon, Ace, the Mighty Kong. So that's what happens when you set the temperature too high. If you set the temperature really low, I think we'll get the really obvious examples and they'll be just a bit dull. Um, the amazing code monkey, the incredible code monkey, coding monkey. So yeah, a bit boring because it's just really predictable. So. 0.6, so okay, it ranges from 0 to 1. Prompt, generate prompt. Instead of animal, let's do... Let's replace that with plant. Right, so instead of animal, we're going for plant. Uh, got this open two times. In fact, let's close it. Like File editor. Uh, this is not my um my usual laptop. It's my other one. I've broken it. <laughs> is that because plant not ah? There we go. It does not understand plant. So it understands animal, but not plant. So there we go. Whenever you try out something, always try and break it because until you've broken it, you've not really pushed the boundaries. So yeah, my tip for today is have a look at OpenAI, experiment, definitely break it or break your code. You're not going to break their API, obviously. Um, yeah, there we go. Bit of a random video. I hope you like the randomness of it. Sometimes I just can't get into the swing of making something really structured so yeah random random is good and although 0 0.6 is random that's not that's 60 percent random between 0 and 1 between 0, 0 is not random 1 is fully random and on the subject of messing about just going with a flow just try stuff, do stuff, break stuff. doesn't always have to be serious. If you break stuff, just doesn't matter. Just delete it. The great thing about computers is you just do stuff. It doesn't work, delete. It doesn't cost you anything. It's not like um, an artist with a canvas or a um, stonemason with a piece of stone. You know, one false move and you've broken off the 
nose of a Greek statue. With code, just type the wrong line, doesn't work. Oh dear, control Z, start again. Just always try and break stuff. Always try and just, what happens if I change this? Oh, it doesn't work. Put it back. How, that is what, control Z about four times. Um, there we go. So I'm, yeah, I don't want to just talk rubbish. So I'm off now. See you next time.